Hey guys. Hello. Hi. Do you like hack cook? <laughs> 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 I, <laughs> I try to talk and the words didn't come out. Do you guys like hot cocoa? I do. I, I do. say hot chocolate. Yeah. Hot, yeah, well, hot chocolate I, as well. I think technically it's two different things. Yeah. Oh, is it? I think so. Yeah, for this episode, <laughs> we will be sampling four different hot chocolates. Uh, my name is Brian Lee. To my left. Brian, Brian. To my right. Uh, for those of those who, uh, for those of those, we haven't seen one of our blind tasting episodes. Usually we do liquor, uh, but it's super fucking frigid out uh, with a temperature of 90 degrees with a wind chill of negative one. Christopher, mm -hmm. for those of those uh, people. Uh, <laughs> for those of those. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm just trying to get yeah. through it. It's um, all good. Yeah. For people who haven't seen our blind tasting, how does this work? So for this episode, we are comparing four different instant hot chocolates. Uh, very timely for the temperature outside right now. They have been all mixed up. So our, we each have four glasses Ooh. and they just say A, B, C, D. So we don't know which brand is which. Uh, and our goal today is just to figure out what is the best hot chocolate under $5. Uh, so we're going to rank these, A, B, C, D, uh, from best to worst. And it's not until we rank them that we'll find out which brand is which. Brand, brand. Uh, what, are, what are the uh, brands that are in front of us? All right, so we have a... Uh, Swiss Miss milk chocolate, the basic yeah, Swiss standard. Miss brand. We have a uh, Giardelli hot cocoa mix with sweet semi-chocolate chips. Oh, that, that's the fancy one. We have a another Swiss Miss Simply Cocoa dark chocolate. Okay. Yeah. okay. And then our budget brand is the Aldi brand milk chocolate flavored hot cocoa with mini marshmallows. All right. Letter A, y'all. Let's Letter start a. with mystery hot chocolate. A. Oh, I'm looking forward to this shit. Hmm. Very mm. light. Mm hmm. Not very chocolatey. So yeah. I just did a packet in eight ounces of hot water. Yep. And then I just split it yeah. amongst yeah. three mugs. Yeah, which is the what the directions recommend for all four of these. Yeah. This one, it's very light. It's mm -hmm. just very, very minimal chocolatey flavor. Yeah. No, I'm not very impressed by it. Hmm. I concur. Yeah. It's almost water. It's like almost yeah, it's, just water. It's the initial like a, taste is kind of weird. Yeah. So far, just A. Yeah, I'm not. I feel like the more it sits in your mouth, it gets better. Right. But like you said, the the initial taste is like water. Yeah, yeah. Very, Very thin. thin. So we have nothing to compare that right. to. You, so letter B. Now, this one already looks thicker. To me, B, B is a looks like bit. the darkest out yeah. of all of them. Ooh. That one has more of a rich flavor. Yeah, I like yeah. this one. And it feels a little bit thicker, too. Yeah, I like this one a lot better. Velvety. Very velvety. Yeah, I like this one. And that's not bad. No, no. It's a good, it's a good, nice. That's like, it's it also has to be classic like, hot cocoa. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good, a good. nice uh, sweet chocolate flavor. It reminds me of like um, the milk after you've had like a uh, cocoa mm, crispies yes. or something like yeah. that. Yeah it's, yeah, it's exactly what it tastes like. I'd say B, then A, definitely. Yes. Yeah, oh, definitely. for sure. Man, when's the last time you guys had cocoa puffs? It's been a while. Damn yeah, cat for cuckoo puffs. Was that, was that a, a Fred Flintstone? Family guy. No, for cocoa? Kind of, yeah. Uh, no, it was more of a... Barney, my pebbles! <laughs> They're molesting everybody! <laughs> uh, C. Yes, hot chocolate C. Ooh. Ooh. Give it, give, give, wait, give it a little bit of a, a stir because I know it's the bottom of my that cup. That one's fantastic. Shake, like, give it a little wiggle. I'm because, shaking brain brain. Yeah. <laughs> well, the bottom of it, there's, yeah. a, there's like a layer of chocolate. <laughs> this, this is a hot cocoa. Syrup. This one's fantastic. This one's very chocolatey. This one's really is it, good. Is it chocolatey or just sweet, though? It's, I would say it's as chocolatey as B with additional sweetness. Yeah, to me, it almost just tastes like there's like, melted marshmallows in it. I, can I mean, there aren't, but that's what it tastes like. It's not chocolatey sweet. It's just sugar sweet. Yeah, it, it's chocolate with, like you said, yeah, exactly, with sugar sweet. So it's definitely, like it. it's definitely better than A. Yes. yes. Is it better than B, though? I would say no. Let's put it below B, and okay. then we'll come back to it. Sure. Yeah, yeah. D? Yes. That one's okay. Again, it's very... Thin. I I would say it's better than A, but yeah. it's still very like yeah meh. yeah it's yeah better than A, but but yeah but still thin. Oh wait, second sip's a little bit better. Yeah, it actually does build on you. Mm. I don't think it's as good as C or B though. Yes, agree. Okay. Yeah, I yeah so, I agree. It does get a little bit better, but yeah. still not better than yeah. B or C. I want to retry B and C again. Okay. 
Uh, so yeah, do we want to retaste all of them? I say, if anything, no. I think just A is the shitty. A, A is shitty, not the shitty, yeah. but it's not. It's the least best. Exactly. And then D would be after that. Okay. But yeah, I think let's retaste. Okay. Uh, yeah. B, so B, we're starting B. with B or C. Let's I'm starting with B. Start with B. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if it's as good now. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure all of them have cooled down since yeah. we started. <laughs> Seeds still taste like cereal milk to me. Yeah. Not necessarily in a good or a bad way. It just, that's what it tastes And like. I think I like that. I feel it's more chocolatey. Even if it has that sweetness, I feel that it's more chocolatey than the other three. I think B kind of winds down the chocolatiness. It doesn't stay. I would be afraid that C would get too much. Like if you had a full mug of that, I feel like you'd be sugared out by the end. Whereas B, I think you could like sip that all day. Right. Yeah, I see that. I agree with that. Because yeah, neither of them are. I mean, they're both good. Don't right. Get me wrong. Yes. Yeah. I know. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to drink C. Yeah. A ton. Yeah. I, but B, I could definitely drink a big mug of that. Yeah. Okay. So B, C, D, A. Yeah. B, C, D, A. Is our yeah. ranking. Uh, Brian, Brian, you want to go ahead and reveal? Yes. Okay. So we're up closest here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the Aldi brand milk chocolate flavored hot cocoa with mini marshmallows. Which we did not put the marshmallows in, correct? Actually, it was in the packet. Already. Oh, it's in the packet. Yeah, oh, so yeah. they, they probably just melted. Melted, um, okay. C. Ooh, oh. second place. Second place. That's, and you, I think you said it yeah, the marshmallows. Yep. So yeah, that, okay, that makes sense. Did any, any of the other ones have marshmallows in them? I do not think so, no. I don't think they did either. Hmm. Um, so Swiss Miss Simply Cocoa Dark Chocolate is... A. Whoa, Ooh. I did not expect that. It does not taste like dark chocolate. No. It, it's, okay, now we have the Giardelli hot cocoa mix. Uh, and with this is the bougie one. Yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> Again, but still under five. Yeah, by bougie, I mean it's like 50 cents yes. more. <laughs> B. Oh, oh, B for bougie. <laughs> B for bougie. <laughs> and then, of course, here, the regular Swiss Miss milk chocolate basic. D, third. Yeah, wow. I didn't expect Swiss Miss to be so low. I mean, yeah, my childhood yeah. is sad. I guess yeah. I'm more surprised that the Aldi one was so high. Right. Yeah. But I wonder how it would be without those marshmallows, without that yeah. kick of sweetness. But it was. Yeah. It was, but it was chocolatier though. It was still chocolatier than the Swiss Miss. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Especially the dark chocolate. One. Exactly. Well, the dark chocolate was nothing. It was yeah, like so just water. Yeah. yeah, that makes me sad. Yeah, and I re I remember having Swiss Miss too growing up. Or like when I think of hot chocolate, I think of Swiss Miss. I don't think of anything right. else. Yeah. But to think that even an Aldi brand is better than it, it kind of like, it kind of puts my childhood into perspective. Yeah. This is a deep episode. Yeah, yeah bro. And I think that's yeah. the lesson that we've all learned today. Yeah. <laughs> Swiss Miss is a stupid whore. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's our ranking there. Yep. Uh, by accordingly. Yeah. Uh, that'll do it for this time. Until next time. Good, Good journey. journey. Hey, Brian here. Thanks for checking out Nick Uncage and uh, Loose Cannon. Uh, best way you can help other people find out about us is like, comment, share, and subscribe to the podcast.